Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Okay, this video is prepare $1 meals now. Avoid going hungry in the future. Not all the time. Maybe once a week, twice a week. Cheap, storable food, Vienna sausages, and pancake mix. So, I have, at some point, I stockpiled these. And so, there's seven. How many serving sizes is this? So I serve, oh, the whole can, but I'm having an egg. So I don't need the whole can. So um, there's all kinds of things you can make. So I fried them in a little oil. So I want to put the oil in the other pan just to, uh, so, you know, no wasting. So um, I made this last night. Uh, with just cheese and it was really good. So I thought I'm gonna make this and I had salsa So there's a little oil left. That's okay. So I'll get some butter The pan is really hot so I have one egg and I will just put a little shelf stable milk Dollar Tree so um, most of this meal is storable food. I put about a tablespoon. So um, I'm eating the stockpile down. And I want to mention something. If you want to see how bad the inflation is, stop spending and just see how much money you absolutely have to spend. Um, I, I've showed you that every day it was $20, $30, and today it was worse. We'll go into that in a minute. Okay, so it's going to be egg with Vienna sausage and cheese. And then there's all kinds of things you could make, but tonight I want to make uh, pancakes. I have this pancake mix, so I want to use that. And all you add to it is water. just put the Vienna sausages on it and cook it for a minute and then I will flip it I will attempt to and put the cheese in the middle and that should give me like a little kind of like an omelet kind of sorta I will try okay so um, I could have made with this same ingredients practically for a dollar hash with Vienna sausages, potatoes, and eggs. So I would cook the Vienna sausages, I would cook the eggs, I mean the potatoes, and then I would beat the eggs and put those on the top. And then I would probably eat them with some um, salsa. But if you don't have Vienna sausages, you and you do have bacon sausage or chorizo, you can make it the same way. So I save my... Um, I saved my tea that I had left over. And what I want to start doing, and this is a really crazy reason, I want to start eating about one lemon a day. So today I went to Walmart and a bag of good lemons was $5, but I think it's worth it to make sure you get uh, acidic food in your diet. Or you can use a reconstituted lemon. And what I was doing, while I was doing my housework is I was watching a lot of crazy uh, videos on aliens and one was my boyfriend was an alien and all he ate was lemons and lemon powder. I thought, well, yeah, well, at least he was nice and healthy. So uh, I'll put a little salt and a little pepper before I try to flip it. So I thought, why not just eat a little, um, some lemon every day if you have them. Um, it could be any kind of citrus. Ooh. Now I managed to do this last night. I don't know if I can do it tonight. Oh, it's not quite ready. Oh. Uh. Well, it turned out better last night, but I didn't have the, uh, oh, I lost the Vienna sausage. Well, I'll just eat it.
actually it flipped pretty good. Here's what I got so far. And then this is the all these uh, cheese. The all these cheese is pretty good actually. No complaints about the all these cheese. Uh, no complaints about all these. You know, I told you I was sick of the uh, places that have the bathroom issues. Never have them at all these. Okay, so tonight is going to be pancakes. So I have half a cup of pancake mix, and it's three quarters cup water. I think this is the best way to go with this stuff. So a quarter cup, and then a half a quarter cup, a little bit more, because that doesn't seem like very much. So one thing about this is going to be a, a quick meal, too. So this is going to be a substantial meal, but it's not going to be very expensive at all. Um, I bought the pancake mix at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so. With the Vienna sausage, you can make it just like a sausage sandwich with bread and mustard. Uh, macaroni and cheese with Vienna sausages. You can cook them first and put them in. Let me see if I can flip it. Ah, look how good my eggs look. That's only one egg. The expensive thing is the eggs. The Vienna sausage is 74 cents, and I'm saying the eggs are 25 cents. Okay, so um, I think I'll make uh, two pancakes. They'll be easier to deal with, or maybe even three. All right, let me get a plate. Okay, so you can put these in um, in chili, top ramen, any soup. But what's really good is potato soup. So the way I make potato soup, and I bought potatoes for a dollar. So I get the potatoes, I put them in a pan, I cover them with uh, water and a uh, dry onion and uh, uh oh the, the oil's not ready. Hey, come on. <laughs> okay, I think it's done. Okay, so I can't complain about I can't complain about the the um the Vienna sausage. Uh, here we go. Today for lunch I had um I had a salsa and I had bean dip and chips. Lately, um, I've been really bad at lunchtime. Uh, I'm working my way back to a more low, low uh, carb diet for my own di darn good. <laughs> if I know it's good for me at my age. But this is not bad and it's very, very cheap. All right. Top ramen or potato salad. So I cook the potatoes down with the garlic and the, and the dry um dry onion until it is until the uh, potatoes are very soft then i add evaporated milk the same amount as the um the water in the potatoes and then i add a pat of butter and then you can have the vienna sausages in it or you know uh to the side cornbread you can actually put the vienna sausages in the corn Bread like a corn uh, dog, if you want to. I usually eat any kind of eggs with salsa. I found COZ in the salsa today. I found the all these uh, salsa to be probably one of the best meals out there. Uh, French fries and Vienna sausages. Biscuits like pigs in a blanket and, you know, gravy and bread. Just use your drippings and make some gravy and eat it on bread. When I went to the food pantry the last time, what, they gave us three um, three uh, cans of Vienna sausages. Or you could make taquitos. 
you can make taquitos with hot dogs, but you just roll the taquitos in a corn tortilla and then you fry them and you know, it's like a meat taquito. All right, um, so tonight was egg, Vienna sausage, cheese, pancakes, and tea. Okay, I have a good video for you, Hobo Thomas. I put it on my Twitter, Hobo Mexican sandwich made easy and cheap and delicious. He's a new channel. He just got going, so go find him on my Twitter or go find Hobo Thomas and get his cheap uh, recipes. I think his uh, recipes, I, I think I have two or three of his videos on my, uh, you know, the time to get these cheap um, recipes is now. Okay, so uh, I have a cream of wheat. You could have cream, uh, cream of wheat, a bowl of cream of wheat with sugar and milk and some Vienna sausages and eggs. I was going to make Vienna sausages with grits, put uh, the cooked grits on the, these are the good ones. You just, I got them marked down. You can put your grits on your, your Vienna sausages on your grits. Or uh, you can put the egg on your grits, whichever you prefer. So that is good. Okay, so now I want to mention probably the biggest problem that we are facing is inflation. You know, we're constantly bombarded with all kinds of news. But the biggest problem now is inflation, the cost of living, the cost of food, the cost of everything joblessness like i'll give you an example one of my jobs was going to the swap meet well the place sold the swap meet so i have to go to another one that i don't like as well but you know i'm grateful there's one i can go to so i will squeeze all the juice into my uh, tea and drink it all the lemon juice joblessness so also ebay is not as easy to sell on people are not buying as much and then the third thing is transportation. So that. Okay, so I went to Walmart because I needed some hair products because my hair is just really, really awful and I couldn't stand it. And I needed some toilet paper. So I wanted to buy my toilet paper to compare and contrast a Walmart toilet paper. And then I forgot, ooh, my pancakes look good. I forgot and I, um, and so I bought um, just $2.99, cents. the lemons were $5.48, and then I bought uh, um, soap. This is, this is expensive, it is $4.98. I bought a Walmart um, soda for $1.18, uh, a CRV, 10 cents. Also, if you have instant potatoes, those are really good with Vienna sausage. You could treat your Vienna sausages just like, uh, just like um, hot dogs, really. Okay, so uh, that was $26.19. Now, I'm on this no buying thing. Then I went to Dollar Tree because they didn't have any of the... The hairspray is up around eight bucks, and I use hairspray every day, and I do not want to pay eight bucks for hairspray. So I went to a Dollar Tree to get some cheap hairspray because Walmart normally has hairspray for two dollars. So uh, while I was there, I thought I'm just going to pick up a few things that I know I'm going to need anyway. Uh, because I needed this hairspray. My hair is awful. I need a haircut, but in the meantime, you know, I need to take a, oh, not really great care of my hair, but a little bit better. And then I have um, Dollar Tree. I might have got it at a 99 cent only, but I wanted to show you what I bought at Dollar Tree because I know I'm going to need it. I bought two, uh, oh, I'm so mad, the chips are open. 
Yeah, and half of them are gone. Oh, no, they're not. Well, there's no chips in there. There's only half. All right, I bought two uh, chips. I'm not as mad that there's only half as I am mad that it's open. 125 I bought two of these because these are handy and they last me almost two weeks. Here's the hairspray. I bought two. But I bought the oil and I bought the Dollar Tree honey because I use that in granola making. All right. And then, you know, I eat a lot of soup, so I bought the various crackers that they have that I like. I bought enough for a month. I go through a lot of these when I'm in my cracker. I've been eating hamburgers, but um, I noticed I think they aggravate my insomnia. So I'm kind of eating at home again. So that was $17.81. Now, mind you, I'm trying not to spend money. Then I needed gas, so I thought this week I'm going to buy $25 worth of gas instead of $40, you know, to cut down on gas. So um, when I was not spending any money, I bought 60, I spent $69 worth of money today. And it's only going to get worse, I'm thinking. Oh, and I just broke the top off my, uh, my uh, pancake syrup. So basically, you know, this is the world we live in. So it all depends. <laughs> Do I think the inflation is going to get better? No, I do not. I think the inflation is the biggest problem we're facing. And one of the best things you can do is stockpile food, but that is difficult uh, to do. So I cut back and I'm, I'm drinking Walmart soda sometimes. I'm uh, finding cheap meals. Here we go. And... Uh, Cutting down on gas, doing everything I possibly can think of. Okay, you guys, see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.